Hi there, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed, and today we are bringing you our second video covering the basics of agnostic. The uh, purpose of this video is to talk to you about the chord section. Uh, we'll be covering this in two parts. Uh, the first part is the MIDI chords. I've got preset chords as well, but we're just going to do the MIDI for now. So let's have a look over at the left hand side of the device here. The layout should be quite familiar if you're a chord bank user. And just to note, if you're seeing a different screen, if you're seeing this here, uh, the presets menu, which it defaults to, you just press this button here, marked MIDI, and that changes the chord into that mode. So in MIDI mode, each chord that you store can be composed of up to 10 notes. And this includes the note number itself, the velocity, and we've also added probability. Uh, probabilities, of course, are a new feature that wasn't in Chord Bank. And again, as we stated on the scales video, the triggers for playing the chords, these are all on the black keys of the MIDI keyboard. Uh, all the scales are present on the white keys. So it's black keys for chords, white keys for scales. Uh, this is just the default setup which we've got here. You'll notice that it starts on C sharp 1. If we look here, every single one is on a sharp note. There's thus a maximum of 53 chords which you can have, and it defaults to octave one. You can have them on the lower octaves, but it defaults to octave one to start off with, just for sanity's sake, really. And as I say, every single sharp or flat key allows you to store a chord, so you have over 50 storage slots, um, so more than double what was previously available within Chord Bank. If we look around, we can also see some supplementary functions just for this as well. Um, we've got copy, paste, clear, lock, and then we've got these bits up here, the functions menu, uh, the triggers for the functions menu here, and a lot of velocity stuff up here as well, and some more velocity stuff up here. We've done separate videos for the functions menu and for the velocity stuff, because there is a lot to go through with them. But for now, I'm just going to cover the recording of the MIDI chords. This is a very simple process. Um, we've got record modes here, so we simply set the record mode onto MIDI, press our record button, and we enter the notes from the MIDI keyboard. Simple as that. We release the record button and we see them turning up here. The velocities are set to 78 because that's what we've got coming in off the QWERTY keyboard keys. And that's really all there is to it. From there, we can now edit the velocities. Or perhaps we want to edit the probabilities a wee bit. Bring them down a bit further. Now we just play the chord back by pressing C sharp one see the notes on the display at the bottom are telling us which ones are actually being triggered and you can see the probability affecting it there sometimes it's taking the note out and if we're happy with that then we'll, all we do is simply lock the chord at this point and that is us so that's the basics of the midi chords there and in the next video, uh, we're going to start discussing the basics of the presets, including how we record runs of presets, uh, which is a very, very useful new way of doing things. So have a wee bit more fun when we're doing that one. That's us for now. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll hope to speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.